Hello it's your favorite extra, this is part 2 to the malfunction series on my channel. You will need to watch part 1 to understand this part, it will be linked in the description below. Also linked will be Sleepy Zombie because this video does feature their art, their socials are as follows. Eureka there's a kid up there, with the touch of her fingers she was floating high. The main objective was to save the wailing child that was left stunned at the top of unstable rubble. However, she was now made a target for her clear visibility. And just a few seconds in the villain's sight will be proven deadly. Just before she was about to release, she was hit. Eureka what are you doing? Release? I, I can't. I was hit. I can't come down. Help please don't let me go. In a desperate attempt to ground herself she grabbed the hand of the child she was trying to save. All that she really managed to grab was the All Might figure that he clung to. Deku tried to find any leverage to propel himself to grab Eureka. He was just a second too late, she got to the point where she was just out of his reach. Tears started to well behind those eyes that were once so bright. She screamed her last words which she'd hope would make it back as a message. Thank you D.E.K.U. Tell everyone I love them and I'll be in a better place. The words just caught his ears and tears of agony stung his lashes. Then within two blinks of his eyes his best friend was no longer in view. As much as Midoriya needed to grieve, he had not a moment to spare. A villain with blood covering their body quickly made an attempt to strike Deku with their hatchet. He narrowly escaped the would-be fatal blow if it wasn't for Bakugo interfering. You fucking idiot watch the villains. We lost Eureka? We don't have time to think about that right now dumbass, focus on staying alive. Sweating more than usual and... Clearly pushed beyond what he ever could do, Bakugo held off the hatched with uncontrollable explosives he was so exhausted and numb to all the injuries he'd acquired during this brawl. All it took was one nick of the weapon that was laced with the drug for him to be infected. The explosives that were external suddenly found their way into his veins. It replaced blood with pooling magma that melted his flesh, muscle, and bone. He screamed as the molten liquid went through every system, every organ filled with wildfire. He Hikomu's dead like he made himself a bomb. The heat was enough to cremate him on the spot. Somehow the ashes that rained down were worse than bits of what would have been Bakugo hitting the ground. At least his death killed the villain too. Problem child move? S sensei? Midoriya? Sensei? In the middle of his own battle he managed to call out to his student. He saw the carnage around him and just needed one more hit. One more hit and maybe he could manage to destroy most of the supply. You fucking bastards think you can get away with this? We know we can. With a quick load of his gun he was able to shoot two bullets with such swift precision they didn't miss. Their mark. Aizawa turned corkless, his eyes rotting from the place in his skull. But, Deku was filled with a homicidal rage. He knew he was hit, however he would be like Kukin. He would fight until it killed him with no words in his mouth and a burning in his heart he went at them with all that he had. Look at all the people you killed? You can see the blood everywhere. On you, on me, on the white flowers. I'm not going to die unless I drag you to hell with me. He stayed true to his word. He was ruthlessly going at them with everything he had. Izuku tore the ground and used the carcasses of the other villains that had died as weapons. He wrenched the bones from their flesh, using them as clubs to batter the opponent. Meanwhile his own muscle unraveled at the efforts. Tendons tore like. You plucked at string cheese. Soon, limbs were detaching from the mass that utilized them. Once his arm detached like another sentient being he put his all into the last blow. Decimating his own flesh at impact, he obliterated the ringleader of the operation. Other villains were too busy to care about the loss of their advisor. They cared way too much about the annihilation of the heroes in front.